Have you seen you who you for, you who you voted for? Who did you vote for? A God fearing man. Hmm? At the beginning, he was a, a God fearing man. What about now? Is he still God fearing? No. Let me drink my water. Hmm. Is he still God fearing? What did Uhuru tell everybody? What did Uhuru tell the Kenyans at the beginning before they started voting? Uhuru said don't vote for that guy. Secondly, that guy said if you vote for me, if I become the president, you will see. Now haven't you seen what is happening? What is happening in Kenya? How is it going? Okay, guys, I'm very, very unhappy because we Africans sometimes when we are told something, we take long to to understand, like to analyze it. Like we say that person does not want us to vote for that person because he's jealous. That is what we Africans think. Yeah. Now look, what is happening in Kenya? It is the worst, and it is worsening. Yeah? Imagine, since this guy entered into the presidential chair, many people have died. Are you with me with this one? How many people have died? So many people. Now, yesterday, since the mandaman of the finance bill started, how many people have died? Many people have died. On that spot, they shoot direct. Some of them are they die because of the tear gas. Now what is it? Now what next? What about tomorrow when they sign it out? What is going to happen? That means there is going to be the whole bomb. Like like they, they, they are just going to burn the whole Kenya. People will die. And Kenya will just remain empty. My goodness. All of my life when I was in Uganda, when I was thinking that Kenya is just such a peaceful country, like I was even blaming my country is just the worst country ever. But at, at least I've seen my country now is, as some united people are united. Like when they say we don't vote this, we don't do that. Like there are some who are paid. Same applies to Kenya also. Like there are some who are paid to do that. They don't want it, but when they give you the money, what will you do? You have to do it. Ah, Kenya is becoming worse. The bill, and to make it worse, the items now, like the cost of living, is just high. It's everyday things are just becoming higher and higher, expensive and expensive. Like now, let's say, like now, what about people like a common mwanaishi, mwenye na survive na kufua maguo. Like watching for people's watching people's clothes, sweeping people's compound. Who will who will now employ them? Because now people will be like, ah, let the compound stay dirty. Like I will do it. Let the get man do it. Yeah? How will that common one inch survive? It is so painful. It is so so painful. It will it is even making like me myself. I regret why Uhuru left the share. Because though he was, things were expensive by, by that regime of his, but at least he was understanding people. Let me tell you the truth about Uhuru. Uhuru was understanding people. At least when people start complaining today, tomorrow you will hear the prices are a bit, they have, he has chopped at least 5 bob, 10 bob from each item, 20 bob from each item. Now you find people... They are first kept quiet because that what they wanted is now down. Yeah? Guy, now with this one, people will complain. They have complained and they have complained. Their prices will not reduce. Now which kind of life is this? Where will people go? There are no jobs first of all. Getting a job these days is hard. You walk, you walk, you walk, you go, you don't get a job. Okay? And even if you get a job, what about the taxes? Which are now very high. Jesus Christ. 
is becoming worse. Like it's becoming worse every day. Eh? Yesterday, people who were shot at the parliament, outside the parliament, they are now dead. He's not even now. To go, he's not even thinking of going to go and comfort those the, the the people of those people, like their family. He's not. Hmm? And instead, he posted that tomorrow when I finish signing the bill, the MPs who are on his side, they are going to eat on his hotel. Now look at that. What is that? That is like looking at the Kenyans that are just like useless people. Like people who are in Kenya, they know they are useless. He does not actually attend to people like the way they have to be attended. To make it worse, if he even... To know that this thing is very painful, if even Uhuru, the former president, has just sent a message to the world, like to the people, saying that don't accept the bill to be passed. Now what next? It means now it means now that people will be killed from their houses tomorrow if the bill is signed out. Yeah, what is going to happen? That means. The all over Kenya will be hearing the bullets both the sides. Huh? It is really not fair. This guy is not supposed to stand for himself. Now if people of Kenya die, how is he going to survive? Who is going to vote for you for the next five years? Huh? Nobody. He actually has to put himself down and think instead of putting himself so high like a rich person who is not going to die tomorrow and be buried in the soil. It is so painful. Like, he would have said this bill, let's lower this bill. Instead of making it so quick, uh, at least let's take it for some time. Yeah. So let's give it some time. Or even he would have announced the bill to the to the to the to the people like the bill the finance bill this is the finance bill I want to do how do you see like should I sign it out or should I leave or should I correct it and put it in a, in another way in the way you want you know let me tell, let me let me actually share this thing out being a president. It's not that you have to only listen to yourself, like what people are telling you, uh, you just look at it and be like, I'm the president, I do what I want to do. No, because the people are the ones who elected you, at least to stand out for them, yeah? So why don't you listen for the people? Listen to the people, leave alone about the dialogue things, leave alone about the bragging, leave alone about your background. You know some people pay that. To their backgrounds like how they started their life now if they get to that rich life they start saying uh after all now i'm rich nobody's going to reach me even i will do anything I'll, I'm, I'm just flexible to do anything you forget that the time when you are walking up and down daily to look for votes people looked at you and be like he's a good guy and then he's going to handle us carefully is going to handle Kenya very well. Now what is happening? Ah! It is very, very bad. I know it is not only Kenya which is not happy. I know even Tanzania is not happy. Uganda is not happy. America is not happy. Rwanda is not happy. How many countries are not happy? Remember the news is being washed all over the world. Imagine Kenya such a peaceful country. Like now it is becoming worse. My goodness. How is it going to be in the five years to come? That means the next election, when it starts, people are going to die. It is going to just be a war. Like first, the war, five, war one or war two or war three or war four, who knows what is going to happen. Like people are going to be killed now. If now it is becoming like this, now what about for the next five years? We are imagine. We have not even finished three years. Now things are like this. Imagine people taking tea of one million. Eh? You go with an aeroplane of 4.1 million. Was it 4? Or it was 2.4? Ah! 
That is all the money of Mwana Inshi. That person who wakes up in the morning around 4 to go out there and look for the job while for you you're sleeping on your bed. That person is maybe paid 15k. And then in that 15k, you shop for, for the taxes, for the fare, transport. Then that person is only going to remain with only 7k or 8k. In that 8k, that person has kids who are schooling. Rent, food, clothing, hospitality. How is, how, is go, how is that person going to survive? Will that person look beautiful, ugly? I don't know. That's why you see now many people they are working, but they still wear clothes of last year, 2023, 2022. Why? Because things are becoming worse. Worse and worse every day. Even you find a person who is working in an office, eh? is wearing the wig that she bought to last eh? two years ago. Why? Because you have to concentrate that little money that has remained. You pay the rent. You pay... Huh? Now if this bill is passed tomorrow, it is signed to say me evil. How, is, how are people going to be? Eh? This bill should have been brought out peacefully. All of this protesting shouldn't have been there. Shouldn't have happened. You see now there are so many people who have lost their properties. Their cars, the supermarkets, um, the bars, eh? and the aeroplanes. Now, all that shouldn't have happened if this guy has talked to the country peacefully, to the people peacefully. Talk to the people, discuss with them. If they agree, you bring the bill out. If they don't agree, why don't you lower yourself down sometimes? It is really, really bad. The Kenyans are not happy and everything is just a mess. First of all, those ones who have lost their people, their, their loved ones yesterday, at that protesting, it's really, really bad. It's really, really bad. Well, to me, I think... If this is going to continue, I will actually I actually prefer that other countries to come in because it is it is going to be worse than this. Like let me tell you, in Kidurai here, people yesterday were killed. The bullets were shot anyhow, and people yesterday were killed. If I'm not mistaken, yesterday almost 100 people died. Yeah, 100 people. Now. What about the losses, the owners of the... <laughs> I don't even feel pity for the owners of the supermarkets. Because there are the same, same MPs there who go there. And instead of them to stand for the people, they go and stand for the money. When they give you a band of money, that band of money is for you and your family. Why can't you sometimes put your shoes in the shoes of, of other people outside there? And support them because that man is not the one who elected you to go to that parliament people outside there elected you to go to the parliament not the money imagine imagine how we people are being convinced outside there that time of elections that if you elect me I'll do this and this if you elect me I'll eh? now after just electing somebody and somebody pass through it and is elected already in the parliament even a greeting to greet Mwanaishi outside is very hard for them if you have ever noticed that is what is happening it's very hard for a person who started yeah long time ago long time ago standing eh, contesting then that time is given a chance to go to the parliament and become an MP a governor etc that person is going to be with a big swagger because already he's seeing the money or oh, she's seeing the money now you the manainshi the mama mboga outside there who is selling mboga the hawkers at the at the roadside there who are you you're just <coughs> very useless <coughs> that is how they call us those mps those who elected the governors the whatever 
We erected you key points. Imagine you wake up from morning up to evening, standing on the line, making sure you have to vote for them. And now when they go to the parliament there, <laughs> my friend, what is happening there? For them, they are only looking at the money. I support some of the MPs who go there and stand for the for the people. They go and stand there for the truth. Your shoes are the shoes of any other person outside there. Because if they did not elect you to go there, you are not going to go there by force. So sometimes even the MPs, the governors, I prefer sometimes they have to put their shoes on their, on the Mwanaishi's shoes. Because it is not really fair what they are doing now. What they are doing now is not fair. And then another thing is, people have the right to go and protest because they are protesting for their for their rights yeah they have a right and the police they whatever they are not supposed to shoot the bullets in any any law articles the bullets are not supposed to be shot straight to the people the bullets are supposed to be shot off guard at least to scare people to make people run away but not straight to the people. I don't know why these people are shooting the bullets straight to the people. Same applies to the tear gas. Tear gas is supposed to be thrown away from the people. Huh? Just to make people scared. They run away and they leave protesting. But you find yesterday, if you, if you watched the news, what was happening was really bad. It's just the worst thing. I wish... God can listen to the prayers of Mwanaishi, of a common Mwanaishi outside there. And just make that man at least faint tomorrow. The moment he just goes to sign that bill, he faints and dies there. Hi! It will be very, very good. God would have done a big job. Huh? Imagine now if that bill is signed tomorrow. What is going to happen? <laughs> Aish! It is going to be bad. Worse and worse. <laughs> Anyways, let us put our hands together, kneel down unto God, eh? in anywhere, anyhow. We pray to God to forgive us and actually. Pray to God to make that man tomorrow forget about that bill. Either he becomes sick, or either he forgets about signing the bill, or either anything just happens to him so that he can forget that bill. Okay? So, that is my prayer. And also, the condol let us pray for those families who have lost their, their loved ones. Let them be uh, have strong hearts hmm? so sorry for them and may God have mercy and may their souls rest in peace because they were not even fighting for their own they were fighting for the world people in Kenya yeah most especially Lord, let that guy not forget that Kenya when it is empty it's not Kenya Kenya is Kenya with the people okay with the love and unity that is the good country but if he if he if he wants to stay in a empty country empty kenya then let him kill everybody then he will remain alone and enjoy what he wants to enjoy if he thinks he can enjoy what he's having now what he's having now is having now because of the people but if he wants to stay in empty kenya let him kill people and let him have what he what imagine oh my god it is so annoying that guy is the worst human being ever ah who you see uru <laughs> uru was the best guy ever i never wanted that guy to leave that chair because he was very responsible though there was a lot of memes of him all over all over the social media but that guy was the best guy and even now so many people are saying that it's not only me so many people are saying that 
And even now, if they say he has to come back to the share, so many people will respond to me. And then they will actually elect you. They will vote for you. That's the truth I can tell you. Yeah? He, 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 kind. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to share. Please, tomorrow, don't forget to stay in your house. Tomorrow is Thursday. Stay in your house. Uh -huh. Don't go out to the market that time of Mandamano because the bullets are shot anyhow tomorrow. You will see. I think it's going to be the worst day ever. So protect your family. Protect your loved ones. Stay in the house. Hmm? And be safe at least. It's better to be broke than to die. Okay? Yeah, that's all for today's video. And please, yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share the video, like, comment. And then, we'll see you, God willing, uh, after the deal is signed.